Hey, what's up, y'all? Listen, I don't know if this review gonna be a straight review. It might be just a little ranting going on, but because I was like, this is ridiculous. This is wasting my time. I'm saying I'm taking notes, and it's like kind of somewhat boring. And also at the end, same at the same time, like if you go fake the thing, make it believable. Make it believable because it was just too much. At some point, they suspicion was correct, and it's it just got whatever. It just got. Dumb. Check. Hey, what's up? My name is Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle 14, and I'm back doing a review of MTV Catfish, Season 8, Episode 78, Jaquan and Chantel. Like I stated, these people wasted our time. Wasted our time. And I wish y'all would. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Because it ain't going to be trying to be long. Jaquan is 28. He lives in Rochester, New York. He had a, he'd been in a long-term relationship for 10 years. He just broke up with his um, ex with um relationship for 10 years. They still live together. But it's like a crazy, rocky um relationship and then they live together and then he trying to date it's a lot going on and then also he had to suffer a loss his father passed away rest in peace praise to Yujikon and everything but yes at the time it was a lot going on in his life so he met Chantel and they started talking for a little bit the reason why he met Chantel because Jaquan not his Jaquan's best friend or good friend named Justin um introduced Chantel to him and he gave him a number and they communicating and talking. They've been texting most of the time. They did talk on the phone, but um never met up, never FaceTime. I would say the same old stuff that we all be seeing of catfish, cause they won't you won't get to see the person to actually do the investigation trying to get to it, or you get in the show. So all that is great and dandy. We also come to find out. And they never met up. And you know why? They never met up and they live in the same city. It's one thing that you don't meet up with a yellow in different states. That's different. It's another thing you meet up, you don't meet up, you live in the same city. And Rochester butt's so big. So what's the issue? Person wants to meet with you, go to breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Want to bring you food sometimes. Want to go out, do do things. And you just kept saying, oh, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I can't do it. I, I told you I'm busy. Why you keep calling me? I told you I'm busy. Those. Nobody's that busy if you cannot make time for someone you're supposed to be, supposed to be interested in. Don't grant it. We all got busy lives. If you're a working adult, everybody got busy lives. Especially you got children. You got other responsibilities. You got bills. Everybody got busy lives. But if I'm interested to someone, I will make the time. Make the time. If you can't respond right at the end of the day, Find some time later on to respond back. To say, I can't talk right now. I'll call you later. Or I'll text you later. FaceTime you later. Do something to show that you're interested. But not straight off not really communicating. And just say, yo, we're too busy. And you can't meet up. And y'all live in the same city. That is ridiculous. So at that point, I want to just let it go. And I think he, oh, he fell hard because Santel was freaking supporting him. Going, going through his laws and everything. And at times... She will get upset with him because keep bringing up that that oh you live with your ex and everything or stuff like that. He been open towards her about still living with his ex and that other thing. So he started really falling like falling for her after four months of talking. Okay. She also said she got no social media, which I don't don't believe to believe it's true. Now social media you. Talk on the phone, you don't want to meet everything, you got no social media. Ain't no way nobody got social media at this point. You might not be involved or active like that, but everybody has so way, shape, or form a social media account. Whether it's just Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram, we have Kick, we got Snapchat. Somebody has some way, shape, or form of, of social media. Even the older generation who haven't grew up in the figure technology now make an account. They may have their sons or daughters or grandchildren they, they make up account for them and they be some of them be on it way more than we be on it sometimes <laughs> look my mother be on it a lot <laughs> shoot so it was like 
just too busy. Right? So they started looking to put pieces together. All right, too busy. And they started questioning and said, okay, if she's supposed to be a real person and she's never meeting up with you, never want to FaceTime with you, you live in the same city, what's up? Because this is the person that just supposed to um, hook up with you, hook you up. So is it possible that he's playing you or he's in on this with the person? It's like he's tricking you because how come if he's possibly the legit person, your friend who introduced you to someone, don't you think that he probably would have known that person already and trying to show that she's real? But yet you get to run around and get in distance and get all kinds of excuses. So I would start questioning Justin. I said, so what's up? Like, what's going on with the girl? You telling me that she's good and everything, but she keep ducking and dodging me like, whoop, whoop, like a matrix. Like, what's going on? So he said, oh, uh, just give her some time. You know, she's busy. Just take time. Just don't rush. I would say, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, right. So they think it's like, can Justin be in cahoots with this Chantel person? It's Justin playing him, making it up. Tricked him and something like that. That's that's crazy. Now, we did find out Jaquan said he's a content creator. So he does videos and the major videos he does is TikTok. And I, I'm a content creator. You see me making a video right now. <laughs> it's like that. So he does TikTok and everything. And him and J Justin does videos together. They're business partners. So he got like four point something million views and viral videos and stuff like that. So he's known. And I don't really watch TikTok like that, but I seen it, but I didn't see his videos or anything. And I don't, I'm not gonna search for it either. So if it comes up, it comes up. But he had a lot of views and following. So it's a viral moment. So you know, when you get the high of content creator, you want to get that exposure as much to get more people attracted to you. Because how you got so many people on your thing, unless your videos must be really funny and really good. So that's that. So they talk to, um, or they think oh, there's a possibility that Chantel could be real, but it's different. Like Justin could be playing Jaquan, Justin and the Chantel could be in cahoots, or Chantel could be really be real. And we we'll just have to see what's the possibilities. Right? So they start investigating. So they checked the TikTok. They saw the videos. That's to say he had a lot of views. He got a lot of following. And they say that Justin and ja Jaquan is um, doing a lot of content creating. So that's a big, good partners. So they might think that, okay, it's impossible because they love entertaining. They love to do this, perform in a big act, make jokes and stuff. Can they be messing with us? Because it's not the first time people in the past in Catfish who came to the show trying to concoct the scenarios and make it seem like we try to help you when all the other sudden um you know actuality you are playing need for cami for camera exposure we had seen a lot of that a couple of times a couple of times and a lot of these stories was not real and we come to the point some of them we reveal oh yes you know we faked it and everything and so like that like this one girl she said this is not what we discussed this is not what we discussed this was like the so much like check my cash with videos it was some of them cash with video after the one with the william they didn't seem legit he seemed like he was using them for cameras um thinking it's a, a good man the cash with Aaliyah, i think Aaliyah, something like that she was on in on this and like that. This is not what we discussed. This is not this. This wasn't right. And I said, girl, so y'all was planning this? So, yes, we've seen a couple of episodes in, in the past that people faked it. Fake it to get exposures and views and people following and all that sort of that. And then after the show, people follow these people or whatever, whatever shape or form. Whether it's good or bad, people go search out for them. Search for them. And look at their content. So, yes, it makes it for exposure. So, they're thinking that this is what they're doing, right? So, after that, they check the phone number. And, no, no check the Instagram. And they see that, scrolling on Instagram, they see Jaquan and freaking Justin in courtroom. Justin was suing Jaquan because he wants some money. Or, oh, just no, Jaquan owe him some money. Because he owns money, he's he sued for. So they courtroom TV courtrooms like, okay. So they is no stranger and being on TV and entertaining. So 
this is the wheels that I think Neve and Cammy coming up with them in their mindset. And they could be possibly playing us. But we will see. But it may seem phony of the courtroom, but we will act, they will ask Jaquan about that later on. So let's check the phone number and then link to a social media profile named Shanita. So they check Instagram and say that it's it, it, Shanita, just like that. They couldn't come up with a thing. So they check that. Um, does Justin follow Shanita? And it come up with Anita. Nita something. And it sees that Nita followed Justin. It says, let's go to Justin and see if, he, um, if Nita follow, if Justin follow Nita. And it come to find out, Justin follow Nita. So Justin follow Nita and Nita follow Justin. So like I said, they both know each other. That's odd. So now they were thinking that Shanita could be catfish at Chantel. Or was your perform? Or Justin's faking and faking the funk and they cahoots and they playing Jaquan. So they told to Jaquan because at this point, Neva Cammy is kind of convinced that this is an order act. Because now that Nita and Justice follow each other, and Justice supposed to introduce freaking Chantel to Jaquan. And Chantel is kind of ducking and dodging, not being legit real. So at this moment, they feel like they just make, making this a whole big TikTok in a catfish form. So we'll see. So they talked to Jaquan and they confronted him and said, This may be a hack. Are you playing us or something like that? He said, No, no, I will not do that. I like playing that because he seems he's really seems convincing. Not doing that. And they talk about the courtroom case. And he said, oh, yeah, he sued me for money. So he said, do you have any idea maybe that Justin could be doing that? He, at this point, he's so adamant that he could trust Justin. He said, there's no way that Justin could do this to me. He is my boy. We be cool. We got over that hump. Even though he did sue me, we got over it. We talked. We want to be cool. But he would not do that. And he didn't break my trust. If he gave me a reason to break my trust, then that's a different story. He said, oh, well, let's just show you what you can. Maybe it could be that. It could be possible. We'll see if he got still have his trust or not. So so when they brought him up to speed of everything they had investigated, they came of course with Shanita. So they showed the Shanita profile and the pictures. They kept scrolling, they kept scrolling, and they came to a point where he recognized that he did a skit. Him and Justin did a skit with this lady. So with Shanita, basically. And they just get together. So I said, oh. And right when he was talking to Chantel, this was uh, Chantel. It's right around the time he was talking to Chantel. They were just getting everything. So Justin probably knows Shanita. And then he talked about his own thing to get him back into the fold. And somehow they have each other's number. And they probably gave it to you. So they went outside. He said, okay, we're going to give you some time. Because at this point, Jaquan was feeling like a little upset. So at this time, they, was, they still thinking that, I don't know. I don't know. He seemed legit. He seemed real. Everything. But it just, it, back in their mind, it feel like something is off. Something is off with this. So they, they say, you know what? Let's text Chantel. And we're going to text Justin. Text Chantel, Justin. They're going to wait till the next day. The next day, um, Chantel reached out. She said, Yes, you know what? It's time to tell the truth. I want to be honest, but I don't want to do it at my house. Can we meet someone else? They said, well, who suggested your house already, girl? Nobody said nothing. We just have a conversation. So they said, let's meet at the park. They said, cool, I'll be there in a few hours. So they got to the park. They was waiting and waiting. And then we got Shanita. Yes, basically Shanita. Shanita had that long ponytail braids, poetic gesture braids. <laughs> and she walking up to them crying. And I was just like, Jaquan, what is she crying for? We didn't even get to talking yet before you started crying. So she said, yes. He said, this is Shanita. She said, just please call me Nita. I like Nita. So what's going on? She said, I just said, it ain't supposed to go down like this, basically. So, but before that, Jaquan was firing the questions. He said, what's up with it? Why are you playing me? What's going on? Yada, yada, yada. He was spitting the questions out. And he was upset. Rightfully so. 
at this point. Upset, spitting out the questions. She's trying to come up, and then she's all getting answered. You said, no, I ain't gonna let it come here like that. Cause you gonna come at me like so answer. I said, girl, calm down. First of all, why are you upset? You the one who was catfishing him. She said, yes, it ain't supposed to go down like that. We was having a good conversations and everything, and I joined the conversations, but um, ain't supposed to go this far. And I think, and then after a while, she just said, you know what? Justin ain't want me to tell me. Justin ain't want me to tell you. Justin ain't want me to tell you. So she implicated Justin that he was involved in this. And what we all kind of knew from watching this episode that he could be involved because there ain't no way he would introduce someone who's not legit. Right? And that's supposed to be boys. So at this point, Jaquan in a minute. Can't we talk to Nita? Need to talk to Jaquan. So she said, yeah, it was just a joke. It ain't supposed to go down. Before. She said, how long? Okay, if we wasn't involved, how long would you have told them? Because they said we probably would have told them. But they wouldn't know. They would not know how long they would have kept going before they told Jaquan. I said, okay. So Nee was talking to Jaquan, and he said, I got to text Justin. Let's get Justin. I got to talk to Justin. So they text Justin. Justin said he could get there. They said, meet him at the park. He said, cool. Justin got there. Justin got there and basically said that Jaquan was going through a lot right now. He was going through a lot with the relationship and everything, and he basically wasn't involved in the business. I'm business with Fortune. He wasn't busy doing videos or being present in the videos. So I had decided to get Nita to talk to him and everything and all stuff like that, get his spirits up so he could come into business. So it was all about business. I didn't mean to this goal this far because I didn't want to take that far. And I probably planned this whole thing. It was all fake. So I was like, chill. He said he thought it could help. He thought it would help Jaquan. And, and, and he in, in his eyes, in Justin's eyes, that it did help. I said, and what way you think it was help? And what way you think your business gonna flourish after you find out you just played your boy? Do you think he wanna continue working with you? Like, what's up with this? So, uh, oh. so they got all got together, sat down because she said, I just, it, it just seemed like it was all a joke and everything. It must be just a joke. And I'm gonna back my boys out. I don't wanna say this. No, I don't wanna say that. But it ain't supposed to go that far. It was just a joke, and it ain't supposed to go that far. And I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry. I didn't want to just do this because I feel bad. I'm a balance. I'm a balance. I'm a balance. So they all sat down. They talked. And Justin said, I just, uh, and he kept stuttering. Uh, uh, I don't know. It just, it, I ain't supposed to go this far. And he was going through a lot. It was a business for him. And I'm trying to help him and everything. But I, I, I didn't think it was going to go this far. I ain't supposed to take it this way. And it was a joke. Yeah, like, it was stop. He said, I apologize because I ain't supposed to, it ain't supposed to go this far. And I feel bad. It ain't supposed to go this far. That's what he kept saying. So at this point, we was like, it just don't feel right. But we're going to be. So how you feel? So I'm good. It's good. It's going to be no talking. I'm good. And it's going to be take, it's going to take some time for me to process. Okay. Take time to process. Everybody went on their separate ways. We get a flashback three feet. Three weeks later, Neva Cammy talked to us, the viewers, and saying that the producers was going through some things because they, they, I guess, when they were filming, they had to go through things and stuff like that because there's a lot of things taking the process of filming these things. And while they were filming, everything, some things didn't come across when they were investigating at first. So the producers going through it, they found text messages between Jaquan and Justin. And this is what that, that, oh, it's too bad we can't hang out because of the show. And we also want to hang out with Nita. And this is way before Jaquan was supposed to know that Justin was the catfish, right? And then they got transmissions between Jaquan and Nita and saying that um, they were texting each other before, before the filming. So I was like, oh. So in actuality, their theory was correct. Neither can me theory was correct that they was all in cahoots with this. And they came and they played us and they would give them that one last time to tell the truth. And let you say, you know what? Yeah, you right. We came on the show. We wanted to get exposure. Ha ha, got you. It's a joke. Something like that. They thought they was doing all that. And they could have a little kiki and laugh at the end of it. But that didn't happen. So they got them back on the phone. 
and they all was on FaceTime and they told him that they got text messages and everything and it seems like y'all was playing us and we feel like they produce a text messages between y'all communicating say y'all was um come on the show whatever y'all would meet up yeah couldn't meet on the show all that stuff and try to long story short come together and plan this concoction that y'all was gonna plan this story to trick catfish to get y'all on tv basically and he go just huh what no that's not what happened no and so then and she was like no we never texted each other we never hang out i said yeah like so y'all doing videos together y'all never hanged out Never hanged out if y'all had this video before. Okay. So, yeah, this story didn't seem believable. But that's what I say. Y'all gonna waste our time, make it believable. So, Dan Hagel, Chuck Kwan said, oh, now I gotta go to work. And everything, they was like, huh, huh. So, neither can we say, we gonna let the fans decide. I said, don't let us decide. Y'all should have shown the text messages. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you gonna expose these people, show us the text messages. Don't leave it to us to decide what we think that's true or not. This seems all fake, and I don't like that. Don't waste our time coming on TV trying to expose you. If you want to expose you, you should have said, listen, they want to expose you. But you could have had, they could have saved this spot for someone else who could actually is being catfish, who want to get through it and get a closure. But no, y'all want to come here and be content creators to go on catfish to get more following. And y'all probably will get more following. Get that probably was your whole plan. Good or bad, people might go scroll and try to find you up and search y'all up. Congratulations, y'all got it. Y'all got it. I don't know what to say. But MTV Catfish, y'all should have showed that produce. Showed them the receipts. He said, here, this is not y'all. This is y'all number, right? This is it. This is the conversation. Or show us at the end of the episode. This is the text message I was went through these people. And let us see. And we don't need, we don't want to go through all that. So at the end of the day, y'all suspicion was correct. They probably was in cahoots complaining because they couldn't they couldn't even come together. Or at the end, they is trying to come together and then they all got out. I was like, wow. But that was the overview of Catfish. Tell me how y'all feel. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how y'all feel about this episode. I, I'm interested to hear y'all opinions. And I'm even trying to make this review long, but hey, it is what it is. I like talk to you later.